Well, today we're going to be looking at a Mego figure, and it's the 12 inch scale Tweaky from Buck Rogers. Um, so I purchased this one off eBay, um, and it's uh, in sort of sad condition. So we're going to see if we can uh, rebuild him, get him working. Uh, I've already done a little bit of work because I ha if if I couldn't do the first part, then there wasn't any point sort of doing it. It would have been just a um, glue it together static model. But I wanted to try and get it working because the the issue with this one is basically the it's missing one of the hands. So the hands look like this. And the little grippers. Quite a strange design, but it's quite cleverly done. Um, both legs were snapped off. So there, there should be this part. So that should be on the top of that with uh, struts on both sides. So I've got to try and rebuild all of that. Um, and then the other, the biggest sort of problem, realistically, was when I got the electric uh, electric clockwork motor out, uh, the spring was missing. Um, so I sort of looked online to see if I could find a spring to suit, and they seem to be very hard to get hold of now. Uh, so um, it was a case of trying to think of what to do with this, and it was my uh, wife that came up with an idea. So basically a, a cheap tape measure, £1.50 tape measure from Wilkinson's, um, and they have a spring in it. So I uh, got one of them, took it apart. The spring, of course, was too wide. It's a 10mm uh, wide spring, and it needs to be 6mm, so I tried thinking of everything to try and cut it. A saw wouldn't touch it. And then in the end, the, the cheapest pair of scissors I got in the shed cut it perfectly, so I basically stretched it all out, cut it down to 6mm, and then wound it on here. It just sits underneath. Um, and it now works. I don't know whether it's going to be strong enough to make Tweaky walk, but at least it sort of turns its head. Um, so that will need rebuilding, greasing up, because it's quite quite stiff and solid, as well as being a little bit worn. So um, The body's in not bad condition at all. He's still got the Dr. Theo sticker. Um, the head is in good condition. It's not a bad sculpt. Um, so, now that this is repaired, uh, the next step, of course, was the next hardest bit was going to be uh, replacing the hand. Um, so I had a quick look on eBay, and of course, no one selling bits of these. They're pretty rare. Um, so I thought I'd uh, I'd have a go at building one in uh, Fusion 360. So I'll put some uh, footage of the design I did. And it was actually not too difficult. I'm quite enjoying Fusion 360. It, it, it seems quite sort of uh, sensible to use. As long as you can see things in shapes, it's just a case of putting shapes together. Um, so basically what I did for this one was printed them out on the resin printer. Um, the, the actual hand is sprung so that it grips, but that one doesn't work anyway, so I thought, mm, that's what you have to do. I'm going to have to spray it. That's going to be a hard part, trying to spray it to match. But basically, that bit slots into there. I did the prototype one here, so you can see what it looks like. Um, and the good thing about this with like rapid prototyping, printing them out, I immediately saw that compared to the original one, um, it was too big. Um, it didn't have any calipers at the time, I was using an old ruler. So I've created a version that's a lot smaller. Uh, it's got a wider base so it fits in as the uh, other arms rolled away. So it fits in here. Let me just pop it in. It's very hard to do one handed. 
so it fits in quite nicely. Um, and then once it's painted up, it should look the part. So the next bit of work I'm going to have to try and do is repair these legs. Um, I can glue the bit back on, but I'm going to have to build it up in plastic hard or something. Um, and also the foots should foot, the feet should have these on both and then when it walks it gives it some stability i'm not entirely sure it's ever going to walk again but uh, we're going to give it a go so the next bit is to try and repair the legs Okay, so I've built up the feet, so you can see I've built this back on, and the way that works is that fits over that peg there, and then as that turns, the leg goes up and down, see that? Um, I'm hoping it will be strong enough. Uh, I've also spray painted silver the feet, just as they blend in. Uh, I've spray painted the hand, uh, just like that dry off a bit so that can go together and go in so it's uh, it's going to be a case of putting them back together now which is going to be easier said than done because I can't remember how it came apart I'm also a little bit worried about the springs starting to break I hope it's okay I'm wondering if I can trap it under them. I'll give it a go. Hmm. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Two choices. So, okay, I've got to work out which way around this goes, okay, keeps falling off, okay, so that's the front, so they have to go on that way. Which is weird because they're gonna mm. two choices. <laughs> uh, and these hold that on. Ah, I see what I've done. And trim this down so let's trim that and come back okay so I've popped them all together so the hand I painted in uh, lead belcher which is a citadel color which matches quite well um, so I think the hand came out really well uh, the legs are all on there the only trouble is the uh, clockwork motor isn't quite the spring I put in isn't quite strong enough to 
to move the legs and the head and everything else. So I'm going to have to try and get a better one. This is just... Please don't go in. But it's not enough to actually walk along. But that's okay. He, most of these don't work. So I'm going to keep an eye out for a spring. Um, but that's... Uh, have a look, so there's Buck with him. And there's Tweaky, so they do make a nice uh, a nice pair. I think Tweaky's a little bit short in the scale, but not too bad at all. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think it was like a 20 quid junker, because um, he's quite a rare figure really. Um, and he's now, he's looking the the business. So yeah, I'm, really impressed with what you can do with uh, Fusion 360 and a resin printer. Um, his legs are now on nice and secure, his feet are back together. He's in a much more healthy way. If you want to see more Mego restoration uh, videos let me know, I've got quite a few junker figures that I need to, uh, to fix. Um, we have a Patreon uh, page now so if you, uh, I'll put the link in the description. If you want to visit that and help the channel out, that would be great. If not, just thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.